All right, I've got a nine by 13 pan with a little bit of oil on the bottom and I'm just going to lightly grease my nine by 13 pan. Just a little oil so nothing sticks. Okay, next I'm going to put a layer of lasagna noodles on the bottom. So three, three noodles. Let's put that one, one, two, and three. Great. All right, in my bowl, I'm going to put in two cups of cottage cheese. All right, and then I'm gonna come in with some salt. I got some pink salt. Um, about a quarter a teaspoon salt, and then my minced onion. So about a quarter a teaspoon of that. And then give that a, just a quick little mix. And then to this mixture, I'm going to add one egg. And I'm going to mix this and stir it to everything, till everything is combined properly. Okay, this is looking great. Okay, now, well, this mixture is stirred completely. I'm going to now spoon it over my noodles. Grab everything out of the bowl and then spoon it, just spread it over until everything is covered. Okay, that looks great. All right, we're coming in with our next layer, it, which is going to be another layer of the noodles. The lasagna noodles. I am using cooked noodles. If you want, you can also use um, the express noodles, but I'm not sure how long. I would actually soak them in water to make them a little al dente. Um, this is an older recipe and it only is going to be baking for a shorter period of time. So I opted to um, cook my noodles. All right, that's our, third, our second layer. All right, we're on to our next layer. So I've got two cups of mashed potatoes. Give it a good mix up again, because they're probably got a little hard while they were cooling. To this mixture of the potatoes, I'm gonna be adding, again, some more salt. So about a half a teaspoon of the pink Himalayan salt. A half a teaspoon, it should be a quarter, sorry. Quarter teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of the minced onions, or if you want, you could also add onion salt. And then I'm gonna come in and give it a shot of um, black pepper, whoops. And that's just gonna be about a quarter, a quarter teaspoon. Season with your heart. Okay, that's great. Now this is just gonna get mixed up. And the mashed potatoes are now going to be 
on top of our lasagna noodles. Now, if you like pierogies, this is the dish for you because this is actually called a lazy pierogi casserole. So I'm just going to spread my potatoes out and then we're gonna be on to the next step. Just give it a good little, nice single layer. Great. All right, our last step, we're going to add a cup of shredded cheese, cheddar cheese on top of our potatoes. And we're just going to spread that around on top of the potatoes. You can also use on top, um, instead of the cheddar, you can also use another cup of cottage cheese, but I've decided to use cheddar today. Okay, that looks great. On to the next step. All right, we're gonna come in with um, another layer of noodles. Right on top. So this is our third and final layer of noodles. Whoopsie. They're slippery, that's for sure. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and we'll be back with the final step. Just gonna add that. You know what goes good with pierogies? Butter and onions. So I sauteed up one uh, medium-sized chopped onion, about, uh, about one cup. And then also there is one cup of butter that has been melted. And we're just gonna pour this on top of our casserole. After that layer is on this is going to go into the oven uh, 350 degrees for 30 minutes and we'll be back okay here we go this is our lazy pierogi casserole and I let it sit for 10 minutes to cool off a little bit just going to top it off with some sour cream a scoop of sour cream and also a little bit of green onions there you go make sure you try this it's delicious you can get the full recipe on our website